Hey guys, welcome to the Temple Ozai channel. Today we're going to be going over trimming, fading, and slow-mo in Sony Vegas Pro 2013. Stay tuned! Alright guys, so this is going to be a shorter tutorial than the ones I have previously done. Um, obviously, again, I'm going to be showing you how to trim your clip, uh, fading in and out with your clip, and turning your clip into slow motion. Um, I have imported a simple clip here from about a month or so ago. It's literally just me fiddling with the camera, and as you can see, it's very, very short, but it's going to work perfectly fine for what I'm trying to show you. So, um, on to trimming. If you would like to trim your clip, so see, you know, as you can see right now, it's just me fiddling with my camera. Uh, if you want to zoom in a little bit better on your clip, as I am doing here, making it bigger and this, that, and the other, getting closer to it, you just use your scroll button, um, you know, move up just like you would, you know, scroll up your your little center button in front of your mouse just like you would moving up a page and it actually brings you closer to clip and makes it a little easier to edit. Um, and I personally never edit a clip unless I'm kind of right up on it so I can see exactly what's going on with the sound spikes, where my dead spots are at, um, and what I can do here. So uh, as far as trimming your clip, it is very, very simple to trim your clip. Say right here as you can see this line in which is right above my cursor is a solid uh, flat line which means there's no sound going on. You can see the little bits of sound right here here and obviously the huge spike right here. I am one of those people I hate dead space in a video so that's why I do a lot of jump cuts. Uh, some people don't like that. I prefer it. Um, so basically let's just assume that this little bit right here would be dead space that I would be cutting out if say I was doing a vlog or something. So I would click a little bit before my spike here uh, for the sound just like so. Uh, right on the old clip you can, you can click also right up here um, or up here. Um, now what this thing do, you will notice this little thing right here moves and marks your place. And that's pretty much what this is, is this is a marker. Good thing about this marker is, is you can drag it back and forth to see your movement if you really just want to see if you've edited something right or exactly where you need to make a certain cut at. You just drag it slowly and it literally, you know, goes second by second so you can see where to put. So anyways, we'll go ahead and click right here before this just like, you know, if I were doing a normal editing session. Uh, next what you'll hit is S as in so, um, and it, as you can see it broke my clip in half. Um, it might be a little bit difficult to see with my screen but it broke my clip in half and see as you can see I can now move this part of the clip. Um, technically this would be dead space if this was like a normal edit so then you could just hit you know the delete button on that, get rid of that and then you have this clip here that you actually want. Um, say if you know this end down here, another way you can do it because of course you know you can cut anywhere in a clip um, as many times as you pretty much want uh, cut it down to size if you want but as you know it's kind of unnecessary for right now um, another way to do so is by putting your cursor uh, right on the edge of the clip like this it'll give you the kind of horizontal arrow with like a um, a little bit of a square and sometimes like I, like it just showed it'll even tell you what to do trim event end drag, drag to adjust the ending point to the event so you can just click hold and drag and it will also shorten up your clip for you and, and you know kind of takes out the need to cut any of the clip off with the S key um, unless it's you know in the middle of the clip. So that is how you trim a clip. Um, it is very very simple um, you know it's it, and of course you know you'll figure out new ways to do so and stuff the more you do it. Um, now for fading. Fading is also super super simple. All you have to do to fade is you just take your cursor just like you did with the cutting except you move uh, the top of the cursor you move your cursor up towards the top left or right corner of the clip. It'll have to be up towards one of the top corners, so if I want to fade from this end, I need to grab the clip right here. If I want to fade from this end, I need to grab the clip, grab the clip right here. And as you can see, when I put it up there, it gives you that horizontal arrow and kind of like a half a piece of pie. That is showing you how you do a fade in and offset. And all you have to do is again click and hold, and you'll see this little bar right here with the line going through it. What that is is showing you how long your fade is or the area in which is going to be faded. So I, I will probably grab it and go about like so. Um, and now you can see that this area of my clip um, is going to be faded. Now because of how this is, this only actually fades your, your video. So as you can see, my audio will not be faded. So this will play, start playing at normal volume. This won't be a complete opacity, it'll be kind of dark, and as you can see, I'll play the click button, or the, the pl play button so you can see what I'm talking about. Here, give me two seconds. Let me get back there again. As you can see, it kind of fades in. Maybe you can't see it too well because it's a really, really small clip. If you actually see right here, this clip is not even technically a full second long, so it's just a clip I grabbed to show you. 
So as you can see, I'll just slow drag it as I showed you, and you can kind of see it fade in. You see, it's it's kind of harder to see without a plan, but you can kind of get the point here. You see how it fades in like that? Okay, then. Now I'm going to also add one over here just for kicks and giggles, so you guys can, can kind of see that. Grab the, the handle again just for the purpose of showing you, because if I hit the play button, of course, with it being so short, it's less than a second, you won't be able to see it. So um, let's go ahead and drag, and look, it gets darker. Darker. Perfect. Now the thing is, as I was saying earlier, it didn't actually fade the audio. So if this was an actual clip, uh, I would hit the play button and the audio would still be normal volume, however your clip would fit in. So another thing you want to remember is as well as your video part, which is this tile right here. Um, you can always tell by which tile you're looking at, whether a video tile or a sound tile, tile over here. It'll give you a little movie clip for the, for the uh, video tile and a little speaker for the sound tiles. So you want to click the sound tile that goes to your movie clip. Um, do the same thing, go up to the top right corner and drag it over just as far as you did your fade in. Um, it's only logical, obviously that way they'll all come in together at the exact same volume and make sense. Um, so that's how you do your fade in and fade outs. It's very, very simple and as you can see you can grab and pretty much drag it the entirety of the length of the clip if you want. Um, granted if you do drag for some reason the entire clip it will knock out your fade in. Um, as you've just seen now I have no fade in here. Um, so it's easy, just drag that back over and do that. <coughs> okay, now that is simple. That was fading in and fading out. Now a fun part, uh, which is doing the slow-mo. is something that some people like to do for like sporting videos or if you're doing something really cool in a video. Uh, easiest way to do so is hold the control key and do the same thing. Put your little cursor here right on the edge of the clip and you'll see the horizontal key with the squiggly line and the square behind it. And if you even hold it there long enough, it'll tell you time stretch. Drag to time stretch or compress the clip. Um, you can go this way. If you pull in, basically, and in this case it would be pulling to the left, like so, you will actually speed up the clip. Um, it makes it much, much faster. So if you're trying to do something in fast time, I guess I, I've done this on a few of my uh, you know, unboxings or, you know, wish reviews and stuff like that. When I actually open the product, I'll, I'll fast forward it so that way you don't have to sit through me doing that. Um, and that's how I do that. You just hold control and click that. Now, once you've done this, um, it would make no sense for you to then try to slow it down by then moving it in the opposite direction. Because if you again hit control and right on the edge and then you drag it in the opposite direction, it's going to slow it down. Now, the thing is, if, if you speed up your clip first and then try to grab it and slow it down, it's actually going to kind of screw with the way your clip goes and sometimes it'll make it a little glitchy. Even though logically if you speed something up and then you grab it and slow it back down, it should bring it back to normal speed. However, Sony Vegas doesn't exactly work that way. So for, for ease of showing you, if we're going to do like a, like a slow down, I'll show you how to do a slow down. You just do your control again, put it right on the edge, give yourself the horizontal line, grab, and drag. And I'll show you here in a moment. And see, I've hit my, as far as it'll let me drag this clip. I have drugged this clip and slowed it down as far as it'll let me slow down without being completely stupid and pointless. And when I show you this clip, it, it's, it's going to be long anyway. I just took a clip that was barely one second, stretched it almost three seconds. So you'll see. Watch. Hit the play button. And you see how amazingly slow that is. Sweet. Okay. Now, control C. You get it back to the way it was. Now if I want to speed it up, just take control again. I'll zoom in here a little bit. Hit control, get on the edge, and pull your clip in. Now this is going to be very, very, very difficult to see because, like I said, it was only one second before, and now it is even faster than that and in fast motion. So let's see how that goes. See? Uh, it's so fast you can barely even catch it. Yeah, it's just way fast. And then, of course, if you want to undo what you did, it's very, very simple. Just the old, good old effective control Z. Sorry about that ding. That was my cell phone. Um, now you just hit the simple control Z and it'll undo everything you did. Um, good thing about Sony Vegas is it pretty much has an unending control Z or edit undo. Um, it's pretty good. Unlike Photoshop or something like that, if you save, it doesn't exactly make it so that you can't undo. So like, you know, just hypothetically, you will we'll hit save. And then, as you can see, it can still go back and undo, undo everything I did before I saved. It doesn't lock you into that point going on. Like if you use Photoshop, for instance, sometimes if you save and then try to edit undo something, it won't let you undo it because you've already saved. So, even though I got a little bit, you know, more in depth than I wanted to and probably chatted more than I want to, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I have officially showed you how to trim your clip, fade your clip, and slow motion your clip. I, I do hope that helped. 
this video is for fellow YouTuber King Banjo. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Have a good day. Hey guys, it's Spencer here with Temple Ozai, and today I'm going to teach you how to turn this to this. Stay tuned to find out.